As we worship the Father.
river. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to rejoice in the Lord this evening. The one that saw you through the first quarter of the year. As far as the ever said, stand up. From January to this month. 
movement. It has only begun. Hey, oh, baba. Ah, oh, yeah, Somebody who knows that. 
that you are not co- you're coming here tonight is not in vain. That you are coming to speak to your father and we answer you. There is nothing that makes me come to your presence. You say, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper, you are my helper, my helper, there is something that makes me come to your presence, my helper. The only reason why we come here every Tuesday is because when we call him, he will answer. Abi, we have a father that we call the answer. Hey, say, it is your healing that makes me come into your presence. You say, my That there is no sickness that you call at the mention of his name that you know the sibling. Hey, it is your healing that makes me come into your presence. You say, my hey, my Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say let somebody shout hallelujah. I say let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if you observe something, something tonight. But I want to say that our choir, they are alive tonight. Very much alive. Very much alive. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. They were very much alive. Very much, very much alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. We are here tonight, and the only reason why we are standing here tonight, and where you are standing here tonight, is because of the power of restoration. If there is no power of restoration for someone to lay down his life as a sacrifice, as a lamb for all, I bet you, in this present financial economic hardship, like me, I'd not kill. I'd not kill even fish. Not to talk of chickens. Some of us will not be able to afford to buy a goat. But someone paid the price over two thousand years ago. And the reason why you become a Christian, a believer, a child of God today, is by the power of resurrection. Until then, that believe. He gave the power to become the children, the sons and daughters of God. I want you to just lift up your hands to heaven and just thank him, thank Jesus for the sacrifice. Thank Jesus for the sacrifice. Thank Jesus for the sacrifice. Thank Jesus for choosing to die in your stead. Thank Jesus for choosing to die in your place. Just thank him tonight. Say, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for your death and your resurrection. I thank you for your death and resurrection. I thank you because today you came to die for me. And you die and you arose. 
you are rose and then you are ascended to heaven and you are being glorified. Jesus, I thank you. My Savior, I thank you. My Redeemer, I thank you. The Prince of Peace, I thank you. My Lord, my Master, I thank you. Go ahead and just thank him. Go ahead and 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 thank him. Thank him because he resurrected. Thank him because he resurrected. Thank you for the power of resurrection. Thank you for the power of resurrection. Thank you because he died to give you life. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Say, Father, thank you for tonight. Because the power of resurrection is here tonight. To do wonders, to do great and mighty things. Your, the power of your resurrection is here tonight. To heal and to deliver. To set free. Your power of resurrection is here tonight. To answer every, to solve every problem. Father, we thank you. Each of this, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. On Sunday, a picture was painted to me concerning the resurrection. An angel sat on the throne, on the stone. An angel sat on the stone. Yes, people are waiting to mock him. People are waiting to mock his death. But the angel appeared to stop the mockers. And that's why you are going to pray tonight. That the angel of the Lord will appear tonight. To stop every of your mockers. In the name of Jesus. Whether you know it or not. The day you are conceived. There is a mocker attached to your life. They are just there, waiting for the day of your mockery. But it's my prayer tonight that they are disappointed in the name of Jesus. The same way they are, be, they are disappointed when Jesus rose up. The same way tonight, every of your critics, every of your adversaries, every of your mockers, they will be disappointed in the name of Jesus. They are going to cry to Almighty God. They are going to say, Father... Because of the power of your resurrection, let every of my mockers be disappointed after tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, because of the power of your resurrection, every of, every of my mockers, every mockers of my life, every mockers of my destiny, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them be disappointed. Father, tonight you disappoint them. 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 Every of my mockers, Father, tonight, oh God, you disappoint them. In the name of Jesus, you disappoint them. You disappoint them. You disappoint them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can you, can you help me hold on to somebody and face that person face to face? You are going to help that person to deal with every mockers of his life. Make sure you face that person face to face. If not, you are a suspect. Hallelujah. That's hallelujah. You are going to say, Father, by the power of your resurrection, every mocker of this life, every mocker of this destiny, Father, let them go down in the name of Jesus. Disappoint them, O oh God, and let them go down in the name of Jesus. For the sake of this your child, for the sake of this your daughter, for the sake of this your son, every mocker of his life, every mocker of our lives, Father, tonight, O oh God, by the power of your resurrection, let them go down in the name of Jesus. Let them be defeated. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to ask God for that person. One of the things that other things that the power resurrection does is that it disgraces every power that are meant to disgrace you. You are going to call to Almighty God. That God say, Father, 
any man or woman waiting for the day of this your, your child will be disgraced. Father, tonight, O oh God, let them wait in eternity. In the name of Jesus. Let them wait in eternity. In the name of Jesus. Father, let them wait in eternity. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that is waiting, Father, for the day that this is your son or your daughter, Father, we express disgrace. We express our reproach. My Father, may God, Father, disappoint them. In the name of Jesus. Father, disappoint them. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Quickly pray this prayer. Say, Father. Say, Father, every stone cast upon this destiny. Every stone cast upon this destiny. Father, tonight, O oh God, roll them away. In the name of Jesus. Father, roll them away. Every stone of limitation. Every stone of delay. Every stone of obstruction. Father, cast upon this life and destiny. Let them be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Let them be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Father, roll them away. In the name of Jesus. Let them be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Let them be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Let them be rolled away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be rolled away. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Pray some more prayers in Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 down. Luke chapter 5, you find the story of Peter. Peter was there, a fisherman, outstanding fisherman, a professional fisherman, a trained fisherman, experienced fisherman. But suddenly his skill died, his talent died. All his prowess died. And Jesus appeared and there was resurrection. I don't know what has died in your life. There shall be resurrection in Jesus' name. Resurrection means bringing back to life anything that is dead. Anything that is dead. His talent died. His skill died. In fact, his business died. The Bible said, and Peter caught nothing. He didn't catch crayfish. He didn't catch crab. He didn't catch periwinkle. He didn't catch anything. And he toyed how many nights? All through the night. Everything that is dead around you will jump up this morning. If you believe, you say a better amen. If you see verse 3, he say, and he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's. Other scriptures say, boat, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would trust a little. You are going to cry to God and say, Father, because of my resurrection, enter my boat tonight. Pray in the name of Jesus. Enter my boat tonight. Because of my resurrection, locate my boat tonight. There were other boats there, but it was the boat of Peter that Jesus located. Father, because of my resurrection, locate my boat tonight. Are you praying? Let my boat be located. That boat can be your business. That boat can be your family. That boat can be your career. That boat can be your job. My father, my God, because of my resurrection, locate my boat. Are you praying? Let my boat be located this morning. In the name of Jesus, locate my boat, O oh God. 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 In the name of Jesus, locate my boat, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Luke chapter 5, verse 6. Or verse 5, rather, he said, And Simon answering and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. You are going to cry to God now because this guy, his skill had died. His ability has died. His passion for work has died, but it's resurrected. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my fighter. Every good thing that is dead in me, by the power of resurrection, jump up back to life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that is dead in me, by the power of resurrection, jump up back to life. 
every good thing, every skill, every ability, every grace, every gift, spiritual gift, physical gift, mental gift, everything in me that is dead, jump up. Are you praying? Jump up. In the name of Jesus, jump back to life. Every gift, every skill, every grace, every ability that is dead, jump up. In the name of Jesus, jump up. In the name of Jesus, jump back to life. Jump back to life. Jump back to life. Jump back to life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. John chapter 11. From verse 1 down, Bible said, and Jesus called forth Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus was dead before. As soon as he had the call, he came forth. I don't know what has died in you. You will call them forth now. Everything that is dead in you, you will call them forth now. Shout, say, Father, whatever represents Lazarus in my life, by the power of resurrection, I call you forth. Pray in the name of Jesus. I call you forth. Everything that looked like Lazarus in my life, everything that resembled Lazarus in my life, by the power of resurrection, I call you forth. I call you forth in the spirit realm, in the physical, in my marriage. I call you forth in my ministry i call you forth everything that seemed dead everything that can be addressed as lazarus everything that can be looked at like lazarus i call you forth in the name of jesus i call you forth in the name of jesus i call you forth shakataya i call you forth Akata. i call you forth in the name of jesus everything that look like Lazarus, sister, pray that prayer. Everything that look like Lazarus, I call you forth in the name of Jesus. In my life and my destiny, in my life and my destiny, everything that can look like Lazarus, come forth, come forth, come forth. Come forth, come forth. In the name of Jesus, I call you. From the east, I call you. From the west, I call you. From the south, I call you. From the north, I call you. From above, I call you. From abroad, I call you. From around, I call you. From within, I call you. Call them forth. Go ahead and call them forth. In the name of Jesus, every lost grace, every lost strength, every lost skill, every lost gift, I call forth. I call forth. I call forth. Every lost fire, I call forth. Every lost power, I call forth. Every lost authority, I call forth. In the name of Jesus, I call you forth. In the name of Jesus, I call you forth. In the name of Jesus, I call you forth. In the name of Jesus, I call you forth. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Jesus' ministry encountered several resurrections. But the most outstanding resurrection was that of Lazarus. It was an announcement. It was an advertisement on his own. That was said, and people came looking for Lazarus that was dead and buried. How many days? It was the fourth day they resurrected this man. His life alone was a testimony. His life alone was an advertisement. There's a resurrection that can make you an advertisement. There's a resurrection that can make you a turning point. There's a resurrection that can make you an announcement. Say, Father, by your power of resurrection, announce my destiny. Pray in the name of Jesus. By your power of resurrection, announce my destiny. Lazarus was announced. Lazarus was advertised. By the power of resurrection, announce my destiny. Pray. Yakato Sata. Where is your prayer? Where is your prayer? Where is your prayer? Baka Sata. By the power of resurrection, announce my destiny. 
by the power of resurrection, advertise my destiny. By the power of resurrection, announce my destiny. By the power of resurrection, advertise my destiny. Shagabande barua, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, Bible said after Lazarus came forth, he was bound from his head to his toe. And Jesus said, lose him and let him go. They will let you go now. I said they let you go. The power of resurrection comes with power for freedom for movement. Shout, power of resurrection. Lose me. Let me go, pray. Power of resurrection. Lose me. Let me go. Lose me and let me go. In the name of Jesus. Lose me and let me go. In the name of Jesus, the power that are binding you one way or the other, the power that are binding me one way or the other, spiritually, physically, and otherwise, loose, be loose in the name of the Lord Jesus and go free. Go free. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I say, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the choir help me just let's worship this God who has done this for us. You have heard from our pastors tonight. We are talking about the resurrection power. Tonight, you will encounter him. I can't hear your amen. Low in the grave he Jesus, my Savior, wait in the coming day. Jesus, my Lord, oh, from the grave he arose with a mighty try over his foes. He arose and from the dark domain and he lives forever with his sins to reign he arose he arose hallelujah Christ arose death cannot keep his prayer Jesus my Savior Came from heaven to the earth. 
do we have to say? What else do we have to say? He took your place and my place. The place of death and destruction. He died, he died, the death that you and I are supposed to die. A man that has done nothing. A man that has done nothing. He took your sins and took my sins. So that you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. Is that the way you can appreciate him? Look at all of us here. Is that the way you can appreciate him? Even in the pain, he was still thinking of you. In the middle of the pain, he was still thinking of you. He was still thinking of me. Even in the middle of the pain. Don't forget that the Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 17 verse 5. John chapter 17 verse 5. He dropped his glory in heaven. Oh God. He dropped his glory in heaven and came down to this sinful world. You took the fall and thought of me. Thought of me. Oh, above all. Can you join me to celebrate Jesus? Celebrate the risen Jesus. The angel that sat on the throne, on the stone. The angel said, He is risen. He is risen. Brother, he is risen. Sister, he is risen. He's not in the grave. He's not in the grave. He is risen. He is risen. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you seek the living among the dead? Manana Mashakana Mulanu. Can we lift up our two hands and jam our hands for Jesus? Can you please join me to jam your hands for Jesus? Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped the Lord. Uh, can you please do me a favor? Can we come a little bit close? Let's come a bit, a bit close. Can we come a bit close? There's a point that our pastors, when they were praying, they raised some very vital points. But there was one that has been coming to my mind often over and over again. And I, I want to do, just uh, add a little to it. He said that Peter toiled all that night. Sir, toiling is different from ordinary hard work. Toiling is extra hard work. Toiling is extra hard work. Somebody is hard working, yes, but this time around he is toiling. In other words, when you toil, the kind of sweat that will be coming out of you will be as thick as blood. If you understand me, shout hallelujah. When a man is toiling, you are adding labor to labor, adding strength to strength. You are putting extra power. You are putting extra strength. You are dissipating energy in an unusual way. The kind of sweat that will be coming out of you will be as thick as blood. That's why the Bible tells us that Jesus... When he was praying, the kind of sweat that was coming out of him, it was not an ordinary prayer. This time, it was a prayer with a difference. So, I want to pray and agree with somebody, online and onside. After this night, you will no longer toil. I can't hear your amen. After this night, everything you have toiled for that you couldn't get, they will begin to locate you. Why is it that you are not saying a better amen? Why is it that you are not saying a better amen? You are going to add one prayer to that prayer you have prayed before and say, Father. Oh, you, I can't hear you. Say, Father. Okay, can you face somebody and say, Father. End every toiling in the life of my sister. By the reason of your resurrection power. By the reason of your resurrection power. End every toil. And every toiling in the life of your son, in the life of your daughter, please pray. By the reason of your resurrection power, by the reason of your resurrection power, and every toiling, let every toiling come to an end. In the name of Jesus, say, Kupa Kata Labada. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. That is why I say we should come a bit closer. And sir, please let your hand be on that keyboard. It's, it's giving us some inspiration. Now, when we talk about resurrection power, sir, ma, we are talking about the Holy Spirit. The resurrection power. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 10, he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. What resurrected Jesus was the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit. And of course we know that the Holy Spirit is the third in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 tells us that the Holy Spirit is the third in the Trinity. Now, the Holy Spirit, I call him the executive arm of God. The power of God to do. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, that after God has spoken the earth out, the Bible said the Holy Spirit was there, supervising everything. The Bible said the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. I am praying for somebody who will say a better amen. After this vigil, you will encounter him. While I was preparing for this, our meeting, it took me a little time to prepare for it. One prayer that the Lord kept giving me that we should pray is that, Lord, let me encounter you. Because when a man encounters the Holy Spirit, his life can never be the same. I can tell you that. You know, my father was a native doctor, so I can tell you about small, small powers, powers here and there. But sir, the Holy Spirit is genuine. There is nobody that encounters the Holy Spirit. You remember the encounter of the Holy Spirit concerning Apostle Paul in the book of Acts chapter 9. The Bible said that day when Paul encountered the Holy Spirit, he submitted to his authority. Sir, before that time, Paul was a terrible man. A killer is not an ordinary person. Paul must have been an idol worshiper. He must have acquired powers in order to silence the spirit of people he has killed. I'm not telling you a story. I'm telling you what people do. Paul must have acquired all, all kinds of power apart from the knowledge he had. But now, when he encountered the Holy Spirit, right there, at that particular time, he did not need anybody to tell him that this one is Lord. He did not need anybody to tell him that this is the Lord of Lords. He confessed with his mouth. He said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Tonight, you will encounter him. You're not even saying an amen like somebody that is ready. Tonight, you will encounter him. I repeat again. Can you lift up your two hands to the Lord and say, Father, let me encounter you tonight. Holy Spirit of the living God. Let me encounter you. Let me encounter you. Let me encounter you. Let me come in contact with you. Let me have a dealing with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, please pray. Please pray. Please pray. That is the prayer we are going to pray. We are just preparing and softening the ground for our daddy to come in. Sir, it is going to be an extraordinary time. Ratika tika tika labada. I want to beg those who are online to please don't sleep. Don't live where you are. Because the moment you live where you are, something can come down for you. When we talk about the Holy Spirit, He comes in an unusual way. He comes in an unusual way. We are talking about the power of His resurrection. The resurrection power is the Holy Spirit of God. And you will encounter Him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we will encounter him tonight. One good thing about the Holy Spirit is this, sir. Anytime you encounter him, he does new things. <laughs> Anytime you encounter the Holy Spirit, he reveals himself to you in a way you have never seen before. The Bible tells us that in the book of Acts chapter 2, the very first encounter, you know the story very, very well. And I was thinking that that will be all. One touch is enough. That when we go to the book of Acts chapter 3, the Bible tells us again that they had another encounter. The same place where they were was shaking. 
And then again and again, each time they meet with him, each time the Holy Spirit comes down, something new happens. Something glorious happens. Lift up your voice to the Lord and say, Father! You see, you can see I'm not telling you to hold somebody to pray. You are praying for yourself because you are the one that needs the encounter. Lift up your voice and say, Father, let me encounter you tonight in an unusual way. Please open your mouth and pray. Holy Ghost, let me encounter you tonight in an unusual way. Let me encounter you tonight in an unusual way. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know why I believe in Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? After three days, he rose from the dead. I've never seen a man who rose from the dead like Jesus Christ. I've never seen a man who rose from the dead like Jesus Christ, which is why he is Lord.
John 11, 25, Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He says, anyone that believes in me, even though he dies, he will yet rise again. Everything that is dead in your life will come back alive tonight. Amen. The focus that God gave me tonight is somehow different. As I was praying upstairs and asking God for direction, the things that I prepared before, he discarded them and gave me another focus. And he said to me, when you say the man is dead, you are talking about a stubborn situation. When you are talking about a man is dead, you are talking about some, an enemy that refused to give up. When you are talking about a man that is dead, you are talking about a situation that wants to end the destiny of a man. This night, every stubborn situation will change in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that refused to give up on your life, God will terminate the assignment over your life. Every enemy that says, every problem that says they will end your life, you will see the end of that problem. You didn't hear what I said. I said you will see the end of that problem. I said you will see the end of that problem. Sickness arrested Lazarus and did not give up on Lazarus until the sickness killed him. Every sickness, every problem that has arrested your life, that said they will not give up on you until they see your end. Now lie. Now you go see their end. Your amen is not born again. Your amen is not born again. Every man, every woman that is on your case, that said they will not give up on your case until they end your life. Now them, now their own life go end. You know they say, I said now their own life go end. I don't go worry this night. Too. I mean, uh, I don't go worry this night. <laughs> they said they're not gonna give up. Now lie. I said now lie. I said now lie. Oh. Lazarus was sick. I said, I see sickness. One day, two day, three day. Before they called Jesus, they had been sick. It was when they saw the was gotten out of hand. They said, let's call our superior power. They had tried some other things. It did not work. And they said, ah, okay, let's call Jesus now. I mean, initially, let's not trouble the master, you know. It's not just a little sickness, just a little problem, you know. It will soon be over. But they got to a level where they said, ah, let's call Jesus. And they called Jesus. He still stayed four days. Before he came. But by the time he came, that problem had ended his life. But it did not end his life. Because the resurrection and the life changed the story. That problem that they thought will end your life. The resurrection and the life will change your story. Your amen is not born again. Your amen is not in church. You will start off tonight by thanking God for sending Jesus. If not for Jesus, where will we be? If not for Jesus, where would Lazarus have been? You know, he died again, but that would have been that he would have died that first time and never rose again. That we say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That anyone that believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank God that he gave Jesus. In Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans 8, 32. He said, if he did not withhold him from us, but freely gave him to us, how shall he not also with him freely give us all things? So when he gave Jesus to us, he gave us all things. He gave us all things. Jesus himself declared in John 15, 13. He says, <laughs> he says, he said, greater love had no man than this. That a man should lay down his life for his friend. He said, I, I lay down my life for you. Lift up your two hands to him and say, My father, I thank you for sending Jesus. Father, 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 thank you for sending Jesus. If not for Jesus, where for they? Where for be? If not be for Jesus, where for they? Where for be? Papa, thank you for sending Jesus. 
Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. That I belong to Jesus. That I belong to my love. I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my Lord. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for Jesus. Lord, thank you for sending Jesus.
Those who are mocking you, they don't know that you are serving the prayer as we go to. In ye all alone, she won't love at home, go a dura, what it bagby. Oh, go ye all alone, and you love at home, go a dura. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I'm serving the God. I know. They have forgotten. They're mocking her. Serving a living God. I am serving a living God. Serving a living God. I am serving a living God. Are you serving a living God? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I am serving a living God. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, I'm serving a living God. Oh, 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 oh. My God is not dead. I, I am serving a living God. Amen. My God is alive forever. I am hey. serving a living God. Hey, are you serving a living God, brother? I am serving a living God. Sister, are you serving a living God? Oh, oh, oh. I am serving a living God. 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 mocking you, they thought that your, your God is asleep. As they are laughing, God is laughing. As they are mocking you, God is looking at them. Very soon, the table will soon turn. Brother, can I prophesy on your life? Can I prophesy on your life? For you, the table will soon turn over. The table will soon turn, sir. If you can change the story of Hannah, you can change your story. If you can change the story of Sarah and Abraham, you can change your story. Can you imagine a house girl mocking the master, mocking the mistress? 
Why? Because he gets one, he gets the thing with the mistress, no get. Now the mistress organize them all. Say, go sleep with my husband. I don't know if you get child. Come on, go. Uh -uh. And she got the child. And now, now say, ha, ah, madam, we are all madam in this house. Oh. We are all madam in this house. Let nobody trouble my life. Oh. Because uh, when the future comes now, we know who got the house. Eh? In this house. Ah. <laughs> my God is alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. I can boast of my God. I want you to know. My God is alive. My God is alive. I know he's alive. Amen. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. I can boast of my God. I want you to know. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God is Allah, Jehovah is Allah, Redeemer is Allah, Messiah is Allah. I wonder what to do. My God is Allah, my God is Allah, oh yes, is Allah, Amen. My God is Allah, my God is Allah, my God is Allah. I can boast of my God. I want you to know. I don't even know what I'm singing, but I hear in my spirit, I will silence mockers. Amen. Are you hearing me? I will silence mockers. Amen. Those who are laughing at you, I will silence them. Amen. And it's going to happen faster than you thought. Ha, hey, 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 hey. The Egyptian you see today, suddenly you will see no more forever. The Egyptian you see today, listen, suddenly you will see no more forever. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, maybe it's online. The Egyptian you see today, Suddenly, you will see no one forever. Mighty warrior, battle, is. Say, oh Lord, my father. I can't hear you. Oh Lord, my father. Arise and silence my mockers. Resurrection and the life. Let, oh God, an end come to everyone mocking my life, laughing at me. Arise and, and silence my mockers. Silence my mockers. Silence my mockers. Baba, silence my mockers. Silence everyone laughing at me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Everybody, put your hand on your tummy. Put your hand on your tummy. Amen. This prayer we are going to pray does not mean that we are talking about marital fruitfulness. We are talking about everything that wants to kill your fruitfulness. Your womb must carry a child. Your womb must carry children. Every power that has killed your womb, your womb must resurrect tonight. Whether it's physical, whether it's spiritual, whether it's marital, your destiny must become fruitful from tonight. Put your hand on your tummy. Put your two hands.
boundaries are being taken off. The barriers are being removed. The barriers are being taken off. No more boundaries. No more limits. No more barriers. No more bus stops. Ale kata kata. Aloko shi kata. Keleko roba taka. Yeto kolabra. Ya kolaba. Keloko tala. Ye kolabra. Ye kolaba. Ya toka saka. Ya toka la. Ye toka ko. Lift up your hands, O ye girls, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, O you girls. Pato kasaka, ebro kota kata, yenu koza la braba. Lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the I am that I am, the mighty man in battle. He is the King of Glory. No man is tonight no more boundaries no more limits no more boundaries no more limits Bible say God is able to do exceeding abundantly far above what you ask or think 
every barrier, every limit, they are crushed. I see a dam broken. I see a force breaking for the force that is holding the flow of the glory of somebody's life. Do you hear what I said? Do you know what a dam is? It's a man-made barrier to the flow of a river. Man made blockade of the flow of a blessing. I see something like thunder strike that barrier. And I see water gushing and flowing. And I hear the Lord say, Barriers have been taken off. You feel locked up. You feel caged in. You feel limited. You feel hindered. But after tonight, the barriers have been taken off. No wonder your effort have not been bringing forth results. No wonder your labor has not been bringing forth results. Because your destiny is caged. Tonight, I declare in the name of the resurrection, Jesus, that the barriers are broken. The Bible says the women got to the tomb. They were looking for who will roll away the stone. Oh, no, no more boundaries. No more limits. Let them call on to them. They got there looking for how to roll away the stone. The angel said, you are looking for who will roll the stone. The stone had been rolled away. The angel rolled it away. There were not two. Only one. Only one angel. Rolled away the stone. And then sat on it. Meaning, you near this stone, you die. Can I pray for somebody? Can I prophesy? Because we are no longer in the level of praying. We are in the level of prophesying. The stone that the enemy has rolled to cover your glory is rolled off. Jesus came out of the grave alive. Everyone here tonight and online, you come out of the grave. You come out of the grave. And you come out alive. You come out stronger. You strong out better. Somebody gave a revelation two days ago. One of our uh, senior pastors. He said Lazarus was sick. And the sickness killed Lazarus. And they buried Lazarus. And then Jesus brought Lazarus out of the grave. And Lazarus came out of the grave. Not only did he come out alive, but he came out without the sickness again. You know, it's possible to sleep with sickness. And you wake up with that sickness. But he died. It was that sickness that killed him. But he came out of the grave. There was no sickness. You are coming out of the grave. I said you are coming out of the grave. Yeah. Everything that was identified with you before you went to the grave, this night they are rolled away. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. We'll continue from there next week.
But this is it. No boundaries. No more limits. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We we'll give our offering. But oh, this is the song I'm hearing in my spirit. It's an old school song. Amen. As we give our offering. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Hey, thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me, thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving hey. me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my love. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your move tonight. It was even the way we planned it, but. We know that you have done what you want to do. Thank you for taking us to your inner room where you change destinies. Thank you for cooking us. Thank you for bringing us out of the grave. Thank you for a new beginning in our lives. Lord, we hold on to that which you have said. And we ask, oh God, the Lord, it begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. You said the Pharaoh or the Egyptian you see today, you say you will suddenly see them no more. Daddy, let this suddenly happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for breaking barriers. 
Thank him for taking out limits. Thank him for terminating barrenness in our lives. Thank you for changing our story. Thank you for silencing mockers in our lives. Thank you for bringing our destinies away from the grave. Glory be to your name. Jesus, mighty name of prayer. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say to your neighbor, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hey, Professor, and yourself, I say, surely, all the days of my life, and I dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Shout hallelujah.